In the final days of the Second World War in Europe, there were many brutal and harrowing scenes, but one which was burned on the memory of many was the display of Benito Mussolini's corpse inside of Milan Square. The former fascist dictator of Italy had been executed by gunshot by the roadside close to Lake Como, and then his body was hoisted up in front of thousands of angry Italian people. Mussolini had plunged Italy into the Second World War as he allied himself with Adolf Hitler and the Nazis, and many Italians began to question their war effort, and eventually the dictator fell from power as he was ousted from power. However, his friend Hitler rescued him before he was then captured again, and the partisans then swiftly sentenced him to death. However, Mussolini's remains, following their post-mortem, were then buried, but the coffin was broken into, and his remains were stolen, and were then concealed and hidden for some time. As the end of the Second World War emerged in Europe, Mussolini was trying to search for a way out of Italy, and he tried to save his skin by looking to head towards Switzerland. He was with his mistress, Clara Patacci, and they could not cross the border. However, on the 27th of April 1945, they joined a German Air Force convoy which was going towards Germany. Presumably, Mussolini may have believed that Hitler would save him and offer him some sort of protection, and possibly a one-way trip away from the danger of his enemies. But the convoy was attacked by partisans who were hunting fascists, and with this, the Germans then gave over a number of fascist stowaways. However, near to the town of Dongo, Mussolini was found hiding under the cover, and one man who found him claimed that his face was like wax and his stare glassy, but somehow blind. I read utter exhaustion, but not fear. Mussolini seemed completely lacking in will, spiritually dead. He was now in the hands of his enemies and Mussolini was sentenced to death as the partisans wanted to execute every high-profile fascist politician to get rid of them. Radio Milano announced the capture of the former dictator and they said, The head of this association of delinquents, Mussolini, while yellow with rancour and fear and trying to cross the Swiss frontier, has been arrested. He must be handed over to a tribunal of the people so it can judge him quickly. We want this, even though we think an execution platoon is too much of an honour for this man. He would deserve to be killed like a mangy dog. The executioner was a man named Walter Aldizio, who took possession of Mussolini and his mistress Patacci, and they were then transported to the villa Belmont near to Lake Como, and they were then ordered out of the truck. Well, Dizio ruthlessly shot this machine gun into the pair, littering their bodies with bullets from his weapon, and after this, Mussolini's remains, along with his mistresses, were taken into the centre of Milan, where they were to be hanged upside down in disgrace. Before this, the remains were spat at and beaten to the point where they were heavily disfigured and bloodied, and they were hardly recognisable as Mussolini was the subject of much of this action. The crowd were angry, and then when the Americans arrived, they ordered Mussolini's body to be cut down, and they then performed an autopsy on his body, and his brain was allegedly removed. It was found that seven to nine bullets slaughtered and killed Mussolini, and four of these were near to his heart and were fatal. However, one of the biggest issues with Mussolini's death and posthumous treatment was that Adolf Hitler made his mind up that his body would not fall into the hands of his enemies, and it was said relating to Mussolini's death that, if he did learn of the full glory tale, it could have done no more than confirm his anxiety to take his own life before it was too late, and to prevent his body from being seized by his enemies. But there was a fear that fascists wanted the remains of Mussolini, as they believed he was a martyr 
and his body was then placed in a coffin and this was then secured and nailed shut and his body was then taken to Muskoko Cemetery in the north of Milan and he was then interred inside of a grave with no headstone. His coffin was a simple and cheap pine one and it was covered inside with blood shavings to ensure that blood did not seep out of the coffin. Mussolini was not dressed in a shirt and he was left as he was found heavily battered and his face was very swollen but his burial was no secret and it was not long before his body was dug up and his grave was disturbed. There was still a significant fascist amount of support inside of Italy at the time and many venerated the former dictator almost as a god. His body was hunted to become a relic and on the anniversary of the Italian liberation of the Nazi forces, a right-wing journalist and his two friends decided to steal Mussolini's body. Domenico Lessicchi was the man who led the grave robbing attempt, and they managed to make off with his body. They went into the cemetery and under the cover of nightfall broke the ground with their spades, and Mussolini had been buried for a matter of months. But then they lifted the coffin out of the ground and they placed it on the back of a truck and it was then taken away. A note was left in the grave saying, Finally, O oh juice, you are with us. We will cover you with roses, but the smell of your virtue will overpower those roses. However, it was no great secret that Mussolini's body had been stolen and the Italian authorities then began to hunt those who had taken it. But one prominent fascist element of support for Mussolini in Italy was inside of the church and there were some priests who still supported his cause. Domenico Lexessi then smuggled Mussolini's body inside of a church and they then took it to different places and moved it around and monks helped in this and they stored it in different areas including a villa before it was then taken to a monastery outside of Milan known as the Sotosa di Pavia. But the authorities learned of this, and when they discovered Mussolini's body in the monastery, they did not find all of him. Someone had opened the coffin and had smuggled away one of his legs, meaning they had cut this from his body, and this is still missing to this day. And it presumably still exists, and is considered a relic for fascists. But there were two friars who were arrested for the crime and they were also charged with hiding a body, but there was a new problem. The authorities now considered what to do with his body and they then held it within police stations for some time before the coffin was then taken to the Capuchin Monastery in the town of Kari Maggiore. It stayed here for 11 long years, simply locked inside of a cupboard and this location was kept very secret and quiet. But Mussolini's family at the time then appealed to the police for his body and they wanted it to be returned to the family crypt and this was then accepted years later. On the 1st of September 1957, over 12 years since his death, the coffin of Mussolini and the remains of him were then taken back to the Mussolini family crypt and they were then deposited inside of a large tomb. Today this is a tourist attraction and many people visit the tomb of the man who sent Italy into the Second World War, and the man who allied his nation very closely with Adolf Hitler. But one thing to consider is what happened to his leg, as this is still missing, meaning that Mussolini's complete remains are not inside of the tomb. Thank you for watching, and to support, please subscribe to Her Remarkable History. Thank you.